Welcome once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. First I want to just take a brief minute as always and tell you about my website here. The website is jackstechcorner.com and this is where you can find some really great uh, Photoshop Elements video tutorials. And a lot of you uh, out there have been emailing me, Jack said, uh, does this work with all versions? Absolutely, it works with every version since version 6. Uh, you can learn tons of stuff on here. The absolute best value, folks, is this three volume set for uh, $40 plus $2 shipping. You get 112 great Photoshop Element tutorials, and you're going to learn a ton of stuff from that. With that said, we're going to jump right over here and start talking about today's Photoshop Elements. If you haven't already heard, Adobe has done it again. They've released yet another version. This is Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Version 9 has now been released and it's available for you to buy. Not only on Windows, but Adobe's keeping up to their good nature here ever since version 8 and they've released at the same time for your Macs. So you're ready to go. If you click on try, uh, that's currently what I did right now. I have a 30 day trial period to see what is the new uh, new features of Photoshop Elements 9. I wanted to find out um, just to see what's, you know, what's available and what's new and see if it's really worth paying the price. It looks like this time the website's not going to cooperate with us, but you just click on try. You go in and log in. If you don't have an account, create a free account for yourself and go ahead and download the 30 day trial. Uh, they have it up, you know, it's very interesting because they have it up now for the Mac and Windows. Usually the Mac demo is not available for long after the Windows. Uh, but I think Adobe's getting their stuff together with this Photoshop Elements. And they know the Mac is a uh, very um, high priority platform at this point. So they're releasing them at the same time. So that's it. Adobe.com uh, products Photoshop L, E-L. Let's get out of here. You can see this is my uh, demo one here right now. One great new feature that I found with Adobe Photoshop Elements 9 is this new guided edit feature that allows you to make pictures like this one. And we are going to do this. I'll do a tutorial on this to show you a step-by-step -step way. Uh, if you need it, uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements 9 as well as 8, uh, if you just bought 8, has some great built-in video tutorials to help you along. Uh, my tutorials just kind of go a little bit overboard. Uh, sometimes we get into some very detailed uh, type editing. But if you look at the guided edit right here, click on guided up at the top, come down here, it's called out of bounds. That's what this is called because we're going outside of the picture. Uh, this is really an illusion. We're actually building this. So you create out of bounds just by simply clicking this out of bounds and it walks you through each step of the way. It shows you a little sample here at the top which you can do. That's the original. That's the out of bounds. Just much like mine. I had the original and then I created this one which as you can see their arms is outside of the picture. It's pretty cool. And you just walk through each step all the way down uh, until you create your out of bounds add some shadow styles here and then add a gradient to it. That's a background gradient is all that is. Uh, what I thought was really neat about this is when I go into full edit, uh, look at everything that the elements actually does for you. It creates all these layers, layer masks, uh, just a ton of stuff in here. And it makes it really, really easy uh, to go in and you can actually do edits on any one of these layers. Once you're done, you can actually go ahead and you know compress this down as I did I compressed this as a JPEG and I actually uh, printed it off it looks really fantastic folks on paper so there you go that's out of bounds another nice thing I found with Adobe Photoshop Elements now for Windows for a long time they've had this and they've never created it for the Mac and I didn't know exactly why but now I, now I really understand I guess it's because they didn't want to compete with iPhoto and for a long time I taught you how to use iPhoto with Photoshop Elements and they do work great. You can still do that today with Elements 9. You don't have to use this new feature but it's really neat that it's there especially if you're coming over from the Windows side and you're used to using it or 
if you already have all your albums and catalogs built uh, as I did many times on Windows and then when I went to a Mac I found I couldn't use it anymore well now we no longer have that issue here is the new organizer that comes with Photoshop Elements 9 and if you'll notice it's the exact same organizer that is with Windows uh, you can click on a picture you can right click on it you can go down to edit with Photoshop Elements the other thing I thought was interesting with Photoshop Elements uh, the series or the line is now they also created edit with Premiere Elements you can also buy Premiere now so if you're not a big fan of iMovie I am I do like iMovie it's very easy for me to work with uh, I don't do a whole lot of video stuff you've seen some of my video presentations so when I go to edit I need something pretty simplistic to work with um, Premiere Elements I did do a few videos on it and maybe we'll touch base with it again sometime but uh, on the Windows side it's it's probably superb more than anything I've ever found uh, you might know some better ideas out there but on the Mac side I like iMovie so that's that another thing that I think is interesting um, and I, I'm not sure I have to go back and look in 8 but they now have shared a Facebook on here you know Facebook is probably the number one website right now uh, in the world Facebook they say it's actually bypassing uh, Google so people are doing less searches and more Facebooking and you can send it to smug mug like you could before and there's some more options down here uh, PDF slideshow you can uh, burn videos and we're gonna look at this stuff as we go through this and start uh, making some new video tutorials for you and um, I don't know yet I know a lot of you are gonna be emailing me because as soon as the version comes out you start saying Jack um, when's your video tutorials coming out on DVD for version 9 you know I know you're gonna be more than waiting or, or more than willing to uh, pick those DVDs up I just have to sit down and start doing a bunch of editing now to put a new package together for you um, but don't sit around and wait for it remember pick up the other DVDs they're gonna keep you busy for quite some time anyway the other thing I found that I really liked about this new version and I'll just grab a picture here I'll right click and I'm gonna open this up in the editor is something that we had before we had this before uh, by using some additional components but now if I duplicate this background using command J or on the Mac it's a control J uh, we duplicate the background we can now go under layer and there it is there's a new layer mask you can reveal all or hide all we just clicked reveal so we have a brand new layer mask in here and now you can do things like adding some gradient uh, to the layer mask like so as you can see here we got the the uh, background and we got the transparency going on there just by using a little bit of a gradient and like I said we will look at these uh, features one at a time here and start going over some of the new features they still have the great stuff here like the um, all the actual uh, smart brush tools those are all still there that you've seen in version 7 and 8 uh, there is a let me just see here if there's back on the guided edit there is some here we gotta look at called a style uh, match and I'll show you that that's really interesting I did watch a short uh, little tutorial I found on that didn't go into great detail so we're gonna look at how to use style mash uh, they got things like action player which is something new uh, effects line drawing old-fashioned photos so there is a ton of stuff in here that we're going to actually play around with uh, learning some of these guided edit tools in the near future. But like I said, I wanted to introduce you. I wanted to show you, my audience, uh, that there is a new Photoshop Elements 9. It is available right now for Windows and the Mac platform. Uh, pick it up and we will learn. We will also learn the, um, just jump back here. We will also learn more about the organizer. Uh, if you watch my Windows tutorials, <coughs> excuse me, you probably know a lot about these already. But uh, you know, we'll touch base back on the uh, on this, and it's really interesting how it pulls the pictures over from your iPhoto. It can build albums from your iPhoto albums, so whatever you have set up, you're not going to have to recreate. 
it's going to build those for you and I'll show you where those files reside at uh, so in case you ever need to get to the actual files themselves. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video uh, tutorial on uh, the coming of age of Photoshop Elements 9 and we will start looking into 9. A lot of the tricks and the tips I'm going to give you on 9 will also work in 8 and 7. Uh, so they do work backwards and forwards except for those new tools I showed you. So remember, uh, go to adobe.com. There it is. You can actually go here and download. Uh, there's the Windows version. There is the Mac version. It is uh, for my friends in uh, foreign countries. There is the French, German, and Japanese versions also. So it's ready for you guys also. And last thing, remember, stop over Jack's Tech Corner. Uh, pick up the DVDs. If you just uh, want to donate to the show to help out, uh, keep purchasing all this new software i got to buy, just click on Donate, and you can actually donate to the show. So until next time, folks, thank you very much for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the show. And I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.